and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jennifer and I do all things embroidery. And in this video, we will be doing the very first kitten on the Perfect Gift Bucilla Kit. So, let's get started. You're going to start with the gift box that the kitten sits in. And this is part of the bow, so we're going to just attach this just in the middle section. That's what it says in the instructions, so I'm just going to grab some yellow thread and attach it in the middle, and then we're going to leave the rest hanging. I'm just going to show you how I do this real quick. And make sure that you line up the dotted lines to meet the end so that it doesn't become crooked. Luckily, we're not really um, applicating the entire thing, so it's movable. So once we put the box lid on, we're able to kind of move it around so it sits in the right spot. So I'm just gonna add a couple of tack down stitches here. Do a double knot, whoops. Okay, good, so now it's secure. I'm just gonna hide my tail. So now we're going to work on the next part. This is the top of the bow. It comes with two pieces of yellow and we're stuffing the top section. And notice I applicate the bottom first and the beads and sequins are already on there and the um, lines that create dimension are the outline stitch. So I'm just stuffing this bow very lightly just to give it a slight three-dimensional look and then we're going to attach it onto the stocking. Attach the yellow bow on the bottom of it and not the top because that's what it says to do in the instructions. I did do a little tack down on the top middle and I did add the little middle part. I forgot to film that, sorry about that. But you can see that it's just a circle, slightly stuffed. And then I'm just applicating the black piece. Most of these stitches are outline stitches. The stitches on here that are dashes, the, that's the um, running stitch. And unless otherwise noted, most of these stitches require two strands of thread. So I did this piece off camera. I did all the running stitches and the applique stitches. Running stitches are white thread. Uh, outline stitches are black. And then the yellow stripes are just beaded. And then I, I always do beads last. And then, um, sorry, I'm trying to fix the angle of this box. Luckily, felt is very stretchy it can be stretched so if you find that for some reason the dotted line doesn't quite match up it's okay you can bend it and maneuver it and make it fit so just make sure you don't pull too hard so it doesn't warp but I'm just trying to make sure I line up this piece with the dotted line and I'm gonna do that for the rest of the box and then I'm gonna add this piece to it Okay, so I just went ahead and appliqued the second black piece. There is no um, stitching on there. I'm just appliquing it. The cat tail is two, two sides, and it's stuffed, and it's got the applique stitch or the outline stitch. And it's a gray color, and we're only appliquing on the bottom of the tail. It'll give it a three-dimensional look and it'll make it look like the tail is just kind of um, in the air a little bit. And I, I like to make sure that I tack it down really well because I don't want it to feel too loose. And I always double knot in the back to secure. And honestly, if I feel like I'm gonna add, I wanna add a couple more stitches after this, I do. I just go back and I add them, but I like the way it turned out. The cat body has no 
embroidery on it. I'm just appliquing it and slightly stuffing it. Make sure that you line up the dotted lines very nicely. Cute little tail. And we're going to work on the ears. So the ear has two parts. There's a pink back and a gray front. The pink has a very small outline stitch that's white. And then we're going to add the ear right there. I'm going to just use a pin to make sure it doesn't move around and then I'm going to applique it to the stocking. Make sure it's in a good position. It, it likes to move around, hence the pins. Okay, so I went ahead and I appliqued the face on here and I did the face off camera. The reason why I did that was because the face makes or breaks the character of the stocking and I wanted to make sure I was very precise and I went really slow and um, the eyes, the inside of the eyes are satin stitch, the inside of the nose and the mouth are satin stitch. Everything else besides the outline of the of the eyes were outline stitches and then the the um, eyelashes of the eye is a back stitch and the eyebrows are an uh, outline stitch and then the ear is the same thing as the first ear and I just applique the bottom and that's where the, f the hand goes okay so here is the bottom of this gift box it's matching the lid same thing the dashes are the running stitch and then we have lines of red and yellow beads and the yellow strips of felt we just applique on and then now I'm going to go around and I'm going to applique this box together and I'm only going through the bottom piece of felt. I don't go through all the way to the back if I don't need to. See how I'm just going through the black felt? And then once I hit the blue felt, then I go through the blue felt. That's how you're supposed to applique the pieces on. And I make sure to kind of maneuver the pieces together as I go along because again felt stretches so I want to make sure that I don't warp it okay so I'm going to put this rest of this together and the box is not stuffed it's just appliqued to make sure it doesn't look like it's like poofy right so it's, it's supposed to be a box boxes aren't poofy and I'm just going through the first layer of the cat, I am not going through the stuffing, I'm just going through one layer underneath, and I'm going to close up this box. This cat is so cute. I'm tempted to name it. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to close up this box. And if you have trouble with um, stamps not aligning up properly, you can rub them off. So that is an option. Okay. So I'm just going to double knot, hide my tail, and then we're going to work on the hand next, the little paw. The little kitty paw has two sides to it very slightly stuffed with the outline stitch with gray and then we're going to just applique her shoulder from the top to around the bottom and applique it enough to where it doesn't feel flimsy Oops, because we do want to keep the paw kind of um, stretched out like it's reaching for something, right? Because cats do that. I actually go back later and add a few more stitches down here because I felt like it's not quite where I wanted it. Okay, so the bow has two beads on it. And you just fold it, fold it, and then wrap it, and that's pretty simple. The beads were not on the actual, like, pattern. I kind of had to look at the picture that was provided, so that was a little confusing. If you have any questions about this kit or you're making it, um, please leave a comment down below with your questions. I would be happy to answer them. 
If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like all things embroidery, please subscribe to my channel. I have many more of these wonderful tutorials. And uh, follow me on social media at JenniferGoodTGL, which is short for The Good Life. Uh, look in the description box for any materials that I use. Uh, my Etsy shop link is in the description box below. This stocking is on my shop, so check that out. And we are done with the bow. So cute. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.